Told him a thousand times. Lester, don't lean back in the chair. So what does he do? He leans back in the chair. <laughs> What's wrong with that boy? Uh, well, as soon as this glue dries, it should be as good as new. Uh, Gangway, Blimpo. <laughs> 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 Me, huh? I'll just... <laughs> Don't just stand there. Kill me! What's going on? Your mother's glued to me, Ellen. Oh. oh. Well, I, I guess you should take your pants off, Ron. No! <laughs> oh. oh, I lost a little skin, but it was worth it. Oh, yeah. Attention, Rainbow Coalition. <laughs> Feast your eyes upon the stunning, the remarkable, testosteroneous Terrence Freeman. One of only three freshmen to make the varsity football team at Marshall State U. At this time, I'll graciously accept your applause. <laughs> What's up, nothing? Well, no offense, but you've told us five days in a row. <laughs> yeah, but it's great news. Hey, where you from, baby? Back off, Testo. <laughs> where is Lester? Yeah, I generously let him borrow my bicycle helmet yesterday on the express condition that he returns to my room. Is it in my room? No. Yeah, I mean, kill him. Yo, pale face. <laughs> Listen, if anyone's gonna kill Lester, it's gonna be me. I strongly suspect that mutant took my blue silk shirt without my permission. Yeah, I saw him at school today. He looked great in it. <laughs> well, that does it, Dad. I'm gonna run him over with my car. Now, come on. Let's not all gang up on Lester. He's not even here to defend himself. Oh, that ding -a -ling. <laughs> He forgot to throw the trash out again. Terry, could you do it for me, please? Oh, yeah. I'll do Lester's work, because I'm that type of guy. <laughs> Today is Lester's first day of high school. I just hope he's not being this much of a scatterbrain down there. Don't get your hopes up, Ron. I saw him participating in a spitting contest today when he should have been getting his locker assignment. You know, I told him to hurry up before they were all given out. And what did he say? He said, and I quote, Chill, woman. They'll give me a locker. They ain't gonna make this new Jack carry no 20 books home every day. <laughs> I can't believe they didn't give me a lock. <laughs> oh, great. Oops. Ah! Oh, man. This year's starting off almost as bad as last year. <laughs> True Colors. Man, you won't believe what you've been to. Oh, I was just Lester, saying... Lester, you forgot to take the garbage out again. Yeah, but... My shirt! What did you do to my shirt? I'm trying to... Why is my helmet on your foot? I'm trying to tell you. Give me your shirt. Give me that mic. Hey. Hey. Doesn't anybody care what happened to me? Uh. <laughs> Dan, some idiot tried to tape this chair together. <laughs> Son, I think it's time we had a talk. Sit down. Now, Lester, I want to ask you a very important question. Think before you answer. Okay. Who are you? <laughs> I'm Lester. <laughs> I know you're Lester, but who... Is Lester. 
Lester Freeman. <laughs> Dad, these are really easy questions. <laughs> Lester, Saturday is your 15th birthday. Now it's time you figured out who you are. Are you a mindless child lost in his own little world? Or are you a young man who's going to take an intelligent and responsible approach toward his own life? Hmm. Uh, the second one? <laughs> so you're left. Your birthday party is a Saturday, right? Yeah. Hey man, what's wrong? Why are you bugging? I don't know, Brian. I mean, my dad says I got to figure out who I am. You lost her. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what I thought. But I was wrong. Yo, man, I'm out here. That's my brother. Randy? Man, I ain't seen that boy in years. <laughs> I love that guy. Yo, hey, Randy. My young brother, good to see you again. Yeah, you too, Randy. Oh, uh, by the way, Les, I don't go by Randy anymore. I've changed my name to Asim. Asim? Oh, that's a cool name, Randy. <laughs> Boy, you leave the screen door open for a minute and then flies Haile Selassie. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, that's my grandma. Come on, Ellen, we got five minutes to make the movie. Coming, coming, coming. Boy, all right. Oh, big guy. <laughs> so, uh, we out here at uh, Go on ahead. I want to talk to Lester for a minute. Lester, that old lady who walked through here, why'd you call her grandma? Well, that's her name. I mean, she's my grandma, you know. Lester, your grandmother was an African-American woman. And her grandmother was chained and kidnapped and brought to this country in a slave ship. Lester, do you know who you are? <laughs> well, I know I'm not Lester. Do you feel you get the respect you deserve in this house? No. Hey, you know you're my main man, right? And I'm not trying to diss my bro, just shine some light for you. There's a black man inside of you struggling for survival. Get to know that black man. The strongest part of the tree is the root. And if the roots aren't strong, the tree won't survive. Brother Malcolm said that. Malcolm Jamal Warner? <laughs> no, no. I think you should read this. The autobiography of Malcolm X. I've been rereading it myself, but now I'd like you to have it. Just think of it as a uh, passing of a time. Brother to brother. <laughs> oh. Run with it, brother. Chicks and ducks and geese better scurry. <laughs> Lester, what are you doing? Reading. Oh, oh, oh. Ellen, good practice this morning. I was smoking him. Blood clots. <laughs> Autobiography of Malcolm the Tenth. <laughs> Malcolm X. Oh? Malcolm X what? <laughs> Just Malcolm X. See? He changed his name because he didn't want to go by a slave name no more. I mean, it's great, Grandma. So Malcolm talks about how, like, the black man was the original man, you know, the creator of great empires and civilizations. But we don't know that, see, because our history has been distorted. By who? 
by the old blue-eyed devil. Frank Sinatra? <laughs> oh, and check this out. Malcolm says that marriage between the races is wrong. Let me see that when you're done, will you? Lester, son, look at you. Reading Malcolm X. Reading? Wow. Son, I'm glad our little talk paid off. Oh, thanks, Dad. I was telling Grandma what Malcolm says about interracial marriage. What's he say? Well, he says that the white women who pursue black men do so because they're in search of the myth of the black man's sexual prowess. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, honey, stop. <laughs> Listen, Lester, if you want to keep reading when you're finished with that, I have cartons of other books up in the attic. I mean, I have biographies, short stories, Hardy Boys mysteries. Ah, oh, here it is. Black men who marry outside of their race are unwelcomed, unwanted misfits. Well, that's you, Dad. Now, Lester, Lester, you got to keep these ideas in perspective. But it's all in here, Dad. Hey, look at T. <laughs> Tell him what you're doing, man. Huh? Uh, oh. Uh, now this is just a little something I do when I score a TD. It's called the Freeman. Ow. Shuffle. Hey. Uh. <laughs> See now, T? You're just like Step and Fetch. Look at you. Grinning and, and shuffling. <laughs> to entertain the white man. Look carefully, Lester. I'm not grinning. What's the matter, Terry? You can't take the truth? Lester, I'm completely on your side with all of this. Well, now, Katie. <laughs> According to Malcolm, you're a bleeding heart liberal. Well, technically. A uh, hypocrite. Well, I don't think I'm a hypocrite. You're a sly fox trying to lure the black man with trickery. The worst kind of white devil. Mom! Lester, Katie's not a sly fox. But she is. And you too, Anna. You're both the white devil. And Grandma? Grandma's the, uh, the snarling wolf. Well, that's true. <laughs> and look at you, Dad. All dressed up in the white man's clothes. See, that tie you're wearing is white man's chain around your neck. No, 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 it's only a clip-on. You know what you are, Dad? You're an integration mad Negro. Hey, now that's enough. You're 20th century Uncle Tom, Dad. I said that's enough. Now listen, I'm glad you're so enthusiastic about your schoolwork, but well, you do this not... This ain't my schoolwork, Dad. Well, did you do your history homework? No. I, I meant to, but, but, but this is different. I mean, I, I just got into reading Malcolm. I, I just couldn't stop. And besides, you know, my history was about Europe. And since I'm a black man, I should be reading about Africa. Enough. But, Dad... Quiet. Now, you listen to me. I know what is in this book. And I don't need to be called an Uncle Tom by no Nintendo playing C-minus average getting grape soda drinking, no homework doing 14-year-old Malcolm X wannabe. <laughs> And I think that I speak for all of us here. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> do you understand? Do you understand? I heard you. Lester, dinner. Where is he, anyway? I heard him come in from school, but I haven't seen him since this morning. Have any of you? No. no. no, we only no he was pretty him. upset when you said all those rhyming things, Ron. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should listen to him, especially that stuff about the sin of interracial marriages. <laughs> Where is he? Terry, wasn't he up in your room with you? Negativo, I'm happy to say. But I did hear him rummaging through the attic, though. Oh, that's it. Oh, I'll bet he went up there to get some of the Hardy Boys books. <laughs> Malcolm X is probably a distant memory by now. <laughs> What's that? 
The UN in town? Lester, if you're referring to me, I'm no longer answered by my slave name. My name is now Abdul. Abdul X. Abdul's a good name for you. Abdul. Lester. His name is Abdul X. Yo, Pinhead. Excuse me. Pinhead X. Your father's talking to you. Lester, come and sit down and we can... You don't understand. I cannot interact with the white devil who committed unspeakable crimes against my race. Nor will I sit with the house Negroes who grin and bear it. Uh, Abdul, honey? Uh, if you're not going to eat here with us, where are you planning to go? To my new home. Little Africa. Uh-huh. And where's that? Little Africa is a place where a black man's spirit can soar high and free. The attic? I refer to it as Little Africa. The attic is its slave name. <laughs> Lester, get over here and sit down. Lester! Lester! Lester, stop! Now look, I've had enough of this from you. Now you get back in the kitchen and you sit down. No! I ain't kidding about this. No one in this family respects me. I mean, I just get yelled at, and then you make me sit on a stupid little stool, and then you hit me with my brother Malcolm's book and everything, man. Now, you wanted me to know who I am? Well, I know who I am, and it ain't part of this family. Now, I'm going up to Little Africa, and I'm not coming down ever. <laughs> no one's allowed up there. But what about your birthday party tomorrow? I don't want a birthday party. Anyhow, birthday is just the white man's way of... of knowing how old you are. <laughs> you will not be able to plug in, turn on, and cop out. You will not be able to lose yourself on stag and skip out for beer during... Just you and me now, man. They don't need nobody else, neither. Just you and me. Hey, yo, Miss Freeman. What's up, my homeboy Perk trying to zone festivities? I mean, yo, help me out to 411. I've got 330. I don't think he's gonna come down. Maybe we should just send everyone home. No, no, no. He'll probably change his mind. I mean, he's not gonna miss his own birthday party. Clear space. I'm gonna go up to the attic and throw him down. No. <laughs> Terry, we all agreed that we had to respect Abdul's right to stay in Little Africa. It's his sovereign homeland. <laughs> Shut up. Birthday to me. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, dear Lester. I mean, Abdul. <laughs> I miss my whole birthday party, man. Man, that don't matter. Who is it? It's me, son. I know no one's allowed into Little Africa, but I just want to hand you something through the door, if that's all right. Okay, go ahead. Here it is. <laughs> I'm just putting it down, and now I'm going away. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you later. Dad? Yeah. Uh, you can come up. 
Four minutes. What do you want, Dad? Well, son, I'm real sorry that you had to miss your own birthday party. And I feel responsible for that. See, I didn't see what you were going through. I should have been more sensitive to you. Okay. Less hap... Son, I love you. And so does everybody else in this family. You're my son, and I'd rather die than do anything to hurt you. And I'm real proud that you're reading Malcolm X. Well, that's all. Dad? Yeah? I love you. Oh. I love you too, son. Well... If the others want to come up and visit me sometime, you can tell them it's okay. Hey, he says it's okay. <laughs> so, how was the party? No party without you, little bro. It's me, Sly Fox. <laughs> All right, now, nah, you're just a regular fox. <laughs> Hey, I see you got your cake. I made this, by the way. It's white devil's food cake. <laughs> Happy birthday, darling. Well, if it isn't the snarling wolf. <laughs> well, if it isn't the beached whale. So this is little Africa. Hotter than big Africa. Get the hell out of here, huh? Sunday night is Emmy night on Fox. The evening kicks off with a special presentation of The Simpsons, followed by a sneak preview of Rock, a new comedy from the creator of Taxi and the producers from Cheers. The laughs continue as your favorite stars celebrate 40 years of television comedy on the Emmy Awards. It all happens this Sunday night. Now stay tuned for an all-new 90210 next. Good night. Good night.